Frustration and fear persist in Chinatown over what some residents and shopkeepers say is a rising level of crime. A group of community members says at its monthly meeting last night, the top issue was again drugs and violence. KTV4's Diana Ko has this update and what the city and police say they're doing about it. An eyewitness captured images of what they believe to be drug use in the middle of the street in broad daylight and drug deals under the same conditions. Those are some of the images shown in a presentation at the Chinatown Business Community Association on Tuesday night. At the monthly touch base, the retailers and residents overwhelmingly said this is their main concern. One of the persistent issues has been drugs and crime in, in Chinatown. This is a situation where we're taking two steps forward and one step back. But the main thing is that, you know, we have police presence down there. Neighbors are watching out for one another. The mayor's office in January had said it's funding a Chinatown task force through at least the end of 2023. So there are more police there. It says it's also aggressively been working on public safety initiatives like the installation of 52 cameras in Chinatown, which can be monitored by police from the substation there. HPD says it is committed to making Chinatown safer for everyone and that, quote, District 1 patrol officers work closely with narcotics vice officers to address illegal drug dealing. Recent enforcement operations have resulted in street-level dealers being charged through the Chinatown Weed and Seed Program. Are you happy with police presence and the Chinatown Task Force funding? Oh, yeah, we have fully funded all the way to 2024. Are you happy with that? Yes. Dos Santos Tam has a different approach, one that involves the whole community. So on Wednesday, we're hosting a meeting with Senator Rhodes and Speaker Psyche uh, to bring together downtown neighbors to help start more neighborhood security watches. It's on November 22nd at 6 p.m. at the Downtown Art Center. So we want to empower area residents and business owners um, with the tools to be a part of the solution. Residents seeking relief say they'd love to take back their streets. Chinatown is a great place with a lot of great people in it who really love Chinatown. Diana Koke, ITV4 Island News.